Okay, tonight I think I'm going to work on these two. They'll be much smaller in the end. This one will be pretty round here, and this one will be narrow and long. Start with this one.
I don't even know how that was happening. So, wow, that was a big overshot flake. I pretty much wanted it to do that, or I wished it would have done that. I really needed to do some drastic thinning. There was this large Hertzian cone, an old Bulba percussion left in there still. This created some really cool patterns in the stone. I'm going to try and take another big flake here and then leave this patterning as much as I can on this face. Maybe thin it down a little bit from either end. Call it a rough biface. I'm gonna bag this flake up separately as a big overshot. You can see the opposite edge there. The bulb of percussion. There was a big lip. And Yeah, that's a pretty good example of an overshot flake right there. I got part of it. Another little overshot there. I can build that platform up again and take another flake. Another one. Wow. That couldn't have been more perfect. You can see there was still a bit of messed up spot there. And this flake just drove clear right through that. Undercut it just perfectly. Took out a whole bunch of that edge. But that's okay clean it up there that makes a pretty flat face there I can maybe even take another one another flake there so that's three overshots in a row
I think I'll just take a smaller one with the hammer stone. Don't need a really large one there. I can come back from this edge and try to clean that up a little bit more.
Well, I can't just leave it at that, so let's do some work on the base.
Oh, not good. Is that last one we got it this is gonna be a almost finished by face by the end of this thing but I just had to get rid of all these high spots before I could before I could finish it for today at least Still a very weird edge right here. I haven't touched this at all. So bad.
I really don't like this <laughs> this lump in here on both faces. Just messing everything up. But I wouldn't be attacking that with hammer stones. I would go down to the indirect percussion, try and get rid of that. So I'm actually just gonna leave it at this stage for now. This can definitely be figured out with some indirect percussion and some crafty pressure flaking work. I'm not gonna do that myself. Maybe someone will one day, or maybe this is what it will look like forever as part of the biface cache that I'm making. This is biface number three of my hornstone biface cache. 